नमस्कार टुडे विल स्टडी द लिपिड लोअरिंग ड्रग्स बिफोर दैट लेट अस सी हाउ दिज लिपिड्स आर वर्किंग इन आवर बॉडी सो दिस इज ए हेपाटोसाइट द सेल ऑफ लिवर एंड दिस इज इंटेस्टाइन एंड दिस इज ब्लड वेसल्स एंड देन पेरिफेरल टिश्यूज एंड एडिपोज टिश्यू so dietary fats uh, dietary fats along with cholesterol when we intake then they are uh, emulsified by the bile acid and bile salts and after emulsification then they can be absorbed so the digested form the fatty acids and chylomicrons they are absorbed and uh, <coughs> एंटेरो हेपाटिक सर्कुलेशन इज देयर सो फ्रॉम कोलेस्ट्रॉल बायलेसिस आर फॉर्म कोलेस्ट्रॉल ऑन स्टेरिफाइड कोलेस्ट्रॉल इज स्टेरिफाइड कोलेस्ट्रॉल स्टर देन दे आर कन्वर्टेड टू बायलेसिड सो बायलेसिड फ्रॉम लिवर गोज टू इंटेस्टाइन एंड देन थ्रू बाइल एंड देन फ्रॉम इंटेस्टाइन थ्रू ब्लड सर्कुलेशन दे आर एगेन री अब्जर्व एंड एंटर द लिवर so this is called enterohepatic uh, circulation so this cholesterol cholesterol uh, uh, one source is our uh, uh, diet dietary fats uh, we get them and uh, they, they are absorbed and uh, again reaches the liver the other source of cholesterol is uh, uh, synthesis inside the hepatocytes from acetyl coenzyme a one important step is here uh, hydroxymethyl glutarate coenzyme a to mevalonic acid by the enzyme hmg coenzyme a reductase then this cholesterol along with triglycerides which are uh, uh, synthesized from the free fatty acids uh, so cholesterol triglycerides uh, uh, they form the very low density lipoprotein so lipoproteins uh, Uh, already uh, we have discussed in uh, last class the lipoproteins uh, are spherical particles of water soluble proteins and they transport these uh, lipids like triglycerides cholesterol and cholesterol esters so we, we have discussed different types of lipoproteins uh, uh, very low density lipoprotein uh, low density lipoprotein high density lipoprotein and uh, chylomicron and chylomicron remnants so <clears throat> here the cholesterol and triglycerides they uh, combine to form this vldl and vldl is secreted from the uh, liver into the blood then by the action of lipoprotein lipase in the endothelial blood vessels uh, endothelium uh, of blood vessels by the action of lipoprotein lipase vldl is converted to your in uh, intermediate density lipoprotein idl and then again by the action of lipoprotein lipase they are converted to ldl low density lipoprotein so you can see in very low density lipoprotein the triglycerides are more than the cholesterol esters and uh, then the triglycerides uh, by the action of lipoprotein lipase are released uh, into the uh, peripheral tissues and uh, adipose tissues so the triglyceride decreases so in intermediate density lipoprotein triglyceride is equal to cholesterol ester uh, and uh, in ldl uh, mostly cholesterol esters are there so triglycerides are again released and then uh, uh, this ldl uh, there is ldl receptor uh, on the uh, hepatocytes and this ldl receptor um, then um, they uptake this ldl so that is another source of cholesterol so cholesterol source number 1 is synthesis number 2 is from the diet and number 3 by uptake of uh, ldl through ldl receptors into the hepatocytes then these triglycerides uh, after uptake into the peripheral tissues and adipose tissue they are converted to free fatty acids and these free fatty acids are taken by the liver and from this uh, the triglycerides are formed and 
with cholesterol they form VLDL and secreted VLDL. So this is all about uh, uh, this uh, um, um, li lipoproteins and uh, the uh, all these drugs and uh, then there is another one called CETP cholest uh, cholesterol ester transfer protein cholesterol ester transfer protein uh, the, this uh, uh, transfers the uh, lip, um, the cholesterol from HDL to LDL and uh, IDL and VLDL so this CETP is uh, is uh, uh, one important enzyme uh, which uh, actually uh, um, decreases the HDL uh, HDL level. So the drugs which we can use to as lipid lowering drugs can be number one if we inhibit the uh, synthesis of cholesterol. So HMG coenzyme reductase inhibitors like uh, statins. Then uh, number two, we can use uh, bile acid binding resins, uh, which will uh, which will inhibit the central hepatic circulation and absorption of uh, cholesterol. And uh, direct absorption of cholesterol can be inhibited by uh, ejetimib. Then uh, the fibrates and nicotinic acid they inhibit the secretion of VLDL. In addition to that, uh, fibrates also stimulate lipoprotein lipase. Uh, uh, by by uh, uh, acting as agonist on one receptor PPAR alpha peroxisome proliferation activated receptor alpha, and uh, so they they increase the uh, uh, release of triglycerides into the peripheral adipose tissue, thereby decreasing triglycerides in the blood vessels. Then uh, all these rise resin statins and fib fibrates they. Uh, uh, they increase the uptake of LDL through hepatocytes. In addition to them, we can have this uh, nicotinic acid. Uh, uh, this nicotinic acid also inhibits the conversion of triglycerides into free fatty acids. So, nicotinic acid uh, uh, do not have any function on decreasing the triglyceride level. So, they actually increase the triglyceride level. Then we can use this CETP inhibitor. So, see uh, there by increasing the HDL level. This is a new group of drugs. So, let us now discuss uh, one by one. So, before that, uh, what is this atherosclerosis? So, the broad term is arteriosclerosis, and this arteriosclerosis uh, is nothing but thickening, hardening, and loss of elasticity of the walls of the arteries. So, if you see the artery, the blood vessel. Uh, then it is the lumen, uh, then the, the surrounding layer is the, your uh, uh, layer of endothelial cells. Then uh, the first layer is intima followed by media and the outer layer is the adventitia. Okay? And uh, <coughs> arteriosclerosis, it affects the small arteries and the arterioles. Then uh, Monkberg uh, medial calcific sclerosis, so this affects the medium sized muscular arteries uh, mainly due to calcific deposits and in uh, persons older than 50 years. And atherosclerosis is the most common, uh, it aff affects the large and medium sized muscular arteries like your coronary artery and the elastic arteries like your aorta, carotid uh, artery. And then uh, Hyperlipidemia is a major risk factor of causing atherosclerosis and hyperlipidemia when we say uh, there is increase in LDL, increase in IDL, increase in chylomicron chyl remnants and uh, the again increase in uh, lipoprotein A and there is decrease in SDL. So this hyperlipidemia can be uh, treated by lipid lowering drugs and the first line uh, uh, lipid lowering drugs are uh, the statins or HMG coenzyme reductase inhibitors, bile acid binding resins, cholestipol, uh, cholesebilam, and uh, the drugs which inhibit intestinal absorption of cholesterol like ejetimib, CETP inhibitors uh, uh, like uh, anacetrapib, torcetrapib. And the rest of the drugs are the second line drugs, uh, the drugs which activate uh, lipoprotein lipase. Uh, uh, 
they are the PPA or alpha agonist like phenofibrate, vasofibrate, and the drugs which inhibit VLDL secretion and uh, inhibit lipolysis like niacin and or nicotinic acid and others uh, like fish oil, Google lipid and antioxidants like provicol etc. So we will discuss the mechanism of action of uh, a few important drugs and one is our HMG coenzyme A reductase inhibitors are called statins, atrovastatin, rosuvastatin, simvastatin, pravastatin, lobvastatin, fluvastatin, mevastatin. So they inhibit the HMG coenzyme A reductase uh, and because of that there will be decrease in cholesterol synthesis and because of the decrease in cholesterol synthesis in the hepatocytes uh, there will be increased expression of LDL receptors so that uh, the other uh, uh, source of uh, cholesterol can be there and because of increased expression of uh, LDL receptor the cholesterol uptake the LDL uptake will be there and uh, because of that the LDL cholesterol will decrease in the blood vessels. So this is the mechanism of uh, HMG coenzyme reductase inhibitors and they are associated with side effects like myositis, hepatitis and geodema. Then bile acid binding resins uh, similarly they sequester the bile acids uh, in the intestine and because of which uh, they in decrease the absorption of dietary cholesterol and uh, the enterohepatic circulation is inhibited. So because of that uh, there will be increased metabolism of uh, uh, cholesterol into bile acids. So there will be decrease in cholesterol in the hepatocytes. So the, uh, the, there will be increased expression of LDL receptor and uh, LDL uptake will increase. So LDL cholesterol will decrease in the blood vessels. So this is the mechanism. They do not have uh, uh, um, that much systemic toxicity and the major side effect is your GI offset, gastrointestinal offset. So next is our uh, fibrates and the, all these fibrates like gemfibrozil, phenofibrate, ciprofibrate, clofibrate, bezafibrate, all these are agonists of uh, peroxisome proliferation activated receptor alpha and uh, this is a nuclear receptor because of which there will be activation of the peroxisome proliferation response elements uh, which regulate uh, the gene expression. So there will be increased expression of lipoprotein lipase in the capillary endothelial cells and adipose tissue because of which uh, um, there will be uh, decrease in triglycerides in the blood. blood. Then uh, they stimulate the fatty acid oxidation in the uh, uh, liver. So because of uh, again fatty acid oxidation uh, in the liver, uh, so uh, because of that there will be no triglyceride production and so there will be no VLDL synthesis. So decreases the VLDL secretion by, by the uh, fibrates. And again because of that uh, there will be increased LDL uh, receptor expression and uh, uh, increased uptake of LDL cholesterol uh, so that will decrease the LDL cholesterol in the blood vessels. So this is all about the mechanism of fibroids and the side effects are, are myopathy, gallstones, hyperuricemia, etc. Then another drug we will discuss so that is uh, niacin or nicotinic acid. Mm, so you can see the figure here in adipose tissue or from triacylglycerol uh, the free fatty acids are formed because of the action of lipoprotein lipase. Then these free fatty acids are uptaken into the liver again to form the triglycerides uh, which will synthesize the uh, VLDL in combination with cholesterol or uh, they will form uh, um, VLDL and this uh, VLDL is secreted into the blood vessels and in inside the blood uh, vessels VLDL is converted to LDL. So uh, niacin by inhibiting lipoprotein lipase in adipose tissue uh, they decrease the free fatty acids uh, formation in adipose tissue, so there will be uh, decrease in free fatty acids in the in the liver. So free fatty acids from adipose tissue are released into the plasma, then from plasma it is uptaken into the liver. So in the liver free fatty acids will be less, so there will be no triglyceride synthesis, so there will be less VLDL secretion. So <coughs> unless there is triglycerides. Uh, uh, there will be no VLDL. So triglyceride plus cholesterol uh, there will be formation of VLDL. 
so the, uh, these drugs uh, the use is very limited because of the severe side effects like palpitation flushing liver dysfunction hyperuricemia impaired glucose tolerance etc so this is all about uh, the lipid lowering drugs thank you